Hey kids, welcome to a Unifor Lesson 6 Static Methods Exercise Number 2. We have a debug the program. This program is supposed to return the sum of two values, but it has an error. Find and fix the error in the program. Let's take a look at our code. We're creating one variable. It's an int called sum. It is calling from the calculator class the add method. It's passing two parameters, 10 and 20. Then it looks like we're printing off the sum is, and we're calling that variable from above sum. Let's go over to calculator. In our calculator class, we have our method add, taking two parameters, first num, second num, and it's just adding first num and second num. Let's go back to my console. Let's hit run and see the error that we get. non-static method. We talked about this in the last lesson, kids. This is that error we get when we're trying to access something outside of the class or something that doesn't have access. We're calling from the calculator class, the add method. Remember, Java is an object-oriented program. We need objects to run methods. Otherwise, we need a static variable. So if we go back to calculator, I bet you if we add static between public and int, this will make it of the class so the class can access it. Let's go ahead and type in static. Now when I hit run, I should get the sum of 10 and 20, and that's 30. Well, let's see if I'm right, kids. Key takeaway from this lesson is really understanding that non-static method. A non-static method is an instant method and belongs to each object that is generated from the class. If your method depends on an individual characteristic of the object, then the method should be non-static. We call it an instance method because it's accessing things specific to the object or instance. Hopefully this helps you understand static methods a little better. As always, kids, if you have any questions, uh, come see me. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next lesson. See you later, kids. Bye, bye, bye.